Auto Body. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. You got me in the vlog. Hello. Got Mad Whips in What's the up, vlog. Guys? We have some updates on the 720. I promised you a 720 GTR. It is something that we're installing that's gonna make it go to that GTR level. Chassis mounted weight. Canada's serious about kicking this COVID thing. We're gonna be wearing masks. Hopefully you guys can hear me, no problem. It's really important whether you believe this helps or not. At least you look at this as a sign of we get about other people. So we're gonna wear them and that's just what's up. Hey, how's it look? Is it a small wing or what? No. Just a, no? <laughs> Not a small wing, Andrew says. We got the biggest wing we could possibly find for the 720. I think you got an airport hangar back here somewhere. Holy crap. Wow, that is not a small wing. Oh, yeah. Hey? True DDE fashion. Right? What do you think, Mia? I like it. Can I get one? <laughs> can you get one? <laughs> she's got a guyer, though. Now she's like, can yeah. I get the McLaren? Oh, you just want the wing. You just want a big wing. So this is an all carbon fiber chassis mounted designed specifically after one of my favorite cars, the P1 GTR. This wing came from Vorsteiner. So huge shout out to Vorsteiner. We're sticking with the Vorsteiner theme. This wing came from the 570 program. This is not designed for a 720. So it's going to take a little bit of massaging to get it to work. The exhaust outlets are really close to the carbon, but uh, check this out. Look at this. That is uh, impressive. Now it's all carbon fiber, this wing. Vorsteiner killed it with this design. Totally. Somehow notch some holes into back here on the carbon, mount that to the chassis, basically find a way to get this to kind of sit somewhere along these lines. Is that where the that's rebar is? That's pretty much is? where it's gonna sit right That's now. pretty much where it will sit? That is a, that's a big wing. Like look at the size of this thing. It goes right to the edges of the body line, which is perfect. So how much work do you think it's gonna be to try to actually get this to fit on the car? Lots of work. Lots of work. Lots of work. Lots of uh, fabricating. Is there any way we can get it to sit a little higher if you build something off of the rebar? This is a smashed up car right now. This is from a 720? Yeah. Oh, look at that. So what do you think, Tony? Are we still filming? Are we still, <laughs> are we still filming? Tell me all the bad ideas that I have and how they don't work. This wing is gonna look fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Getting I love it. it on is gonna be a horror show. <laughs> This is a 720 rear bumper. Yeah. This is what sits behind it. Yeah. Not in its perfect form. No. This is what it does. This is what it's meant to do when you hit someone <laughs> hits you, right? Exactly. Inside like this. Oh, really? The 720 is a little different. It's got this piece in front of it. Yeah, this big chunk, right? Yeah, that's worth $22,000. Shut up. Just yep. throwing it out there. This is worth 22,000. Yep. And we're gonna hack it up. Well. That's why I want you here okay. to tell me. Yeah, go ahead. You know me. Go ahead. He says that this is tougher than the Aperta. Really? Why is that? I gotta make that thing mount on. Yeah. And still be able to put the bumper on after. And when you're doing 300 kilometers an hour, not have this come off. That's important. Yeah. We don't want this to come off at 300. I had a ski box come off at 250. Obviously, we did not put that on. No. no. So this is how this sits like this. So that's about where it's going to sit. It like eh? it actually belong there. Right? I like the idea of things looking like they belong. Yeah. We're still trying to make that work for Dave on this channel. But it's coming along, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. That's why I bring it to you guys. Because at the end of the day, when these guys finish something, it looks finished. Doesn't look like a hack job, but I love about Tony. And again, Tony's who built the 458 Liberty Walk way back in the day. I bring all my stuff that requires brains and a steady hand after a couple of drinks. We get things done. How long do you think it'll take to hack this out and do it? Not three days. We get it done by tonight? <laughs> right, well, let's hit a little montage because this is sexy. Tony's freaking out off camera here, okay? What do you want, sir? You want you want confirmation All on right. the internet I that I approve this? confirmation. Now you have a look here. Okay. I am allowed to cut this $22,000 piece. Yes, I give Fast Track Auto Body in Richmond, Tony specifically, nobody else in this shop, permission to cut the $22,000 bumper to make the wing work. Perfect. <laughs> Good. You guys think we're playing this up? We're not playing this up. Every time I bring a project here, they ask me 10 times if they're allowed to do it. And on the last project, we even had to have like a legal waiver written off. And the Lambo is going to come back soon. The wings looking pretty, pretty amazing. Everybody decided that we need to have it right up against the bottom of the bumper here. That gives it the perfect height and it's going to sit at about that height. Look how good this looks. First carbon fiber P1 GTR style chassis mounted wing ever on a 720. And it's a little hard to see, but you can see it. Look, look how that sits. I know we got a lot of stuff in the background, but it's going to look so epic, you guys. And this is really what makes the GTR in this car. This 
and this special unobtainium exhaust that's designed like the P1. And then we're gonna get some custom carbon canards for the front. And I do have an aero scoop coming for the roof still. And then we're gonna take Mia over to her Lamborghini Gallardo. We have a plate, we have insurance, we have registration that for my baby. So exciting. Aren't you? Yes. And you haven't seen your plate yet. We got a custom plate that Dave and I ordered that was supposed to go on the La C8. Super appropriate for that car and much more relevant about six months ago, but it's still gonna be really funny, so stay tuned. All right, buddy. Thanks, brother. Yeah. We are off to SR Auto Group. <laughs> Raymond recently had to drive the Huracan to Wrapworks and Andrew couldn't believe that he drove the car. He looks like, a, what's it called? A Starfighter or the guys from Star Wars? One of the yeah. Rogue Squadron guys. Yeah, one of the guys. He has the yellow glasses on. Anyhow, we'll throw a clip right here. He's really happy about it. Okay. Douchebag, look at the I do for you. I'm driving the car in the rain to rat works to get it wrapped. You think this is funny, you douchebag? Sick of this. Nice car though, I'm not gonna lie. You guys, we're walking to SR because it's only a couple blocks away. And check this out, I just found the epic best Porsche build ever for Anthony. The Stance Edition with, I think, wire wheel Dayton's on it. Porsche. I've never seen anything like this. We have a Porsche with wire wheels in Canada. Shut up, it has hydros. <laughs> Probably, The next Mad Whip hydro <laughs> Porsche build. <laughs> All jokes aside, you actually want to build an off-road edition high-level exotic. Yeah, I think DD has to do it. Like legit jumping exotic? Yeah. We're talking like at least four or five feet in the air. Yeah. The bad ideas continue. Hey! What's up? Welcome back, brother. How are you? How you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm great. You know what we need to do right now? You perfect timing, bro. We need to thank today's sponsor. Oh, that's easy, it's Rockform. Rockform, our bros that save our phones. Yes, I have two phones. You have two? You know what that means, right? <laughs> all right, all right. Oh. Gentlemen out there, oh. twice divorce. Now listen. This is an easy one for us because it's like the best case ever made. It protects your It's really strong. Phone. Like, look, check this out. All right. <laughs> so check it out. Come on, check so this out. Military grade drop protection. Your phone would protect you. Look at this. Not a scratch on it. It's looking it. brand new. Brand new. Screen's fine, you son of a. So, That's you really guys fun. are going to want to go and get one of these. And it's got a neodymium magnet. You know what that means? It means the magnet will not erase your cards or credit card information, but it's really strong and it'll stick to one of the vent mounts in your car. And it has many other detachments. Oh! oh! How much do they get off on the rock from Okay, so this is a big discount for Christmas, guys. 25% off right now. Link in description. You gotta grab one. You guys gotta go and get one right now. They also come in multiple colors. And this is the rugged. This is my favorite because it's so strong. They just came out with a brand new iPhone and the MSRP went up. It's $1,700 for the iPhone 12. You wanna protect it with a case. Ah. What the f did you do to my door? What's wrong with your door? Well, you just threw phone with the case on it. That's fine. You know what? You need a rock form case, bro. Yeah. Too stressed out. Well, what about my door? Don't worry about your door. All right, Mia, we're here to do some fun stuff with your car, but before we get to that, how disappointed are you, Anthony, that uh, basically the whole internet <laughs> voted for the GTR instead of the manual Dude, R8? I'm really pissed off. I was really into that, that R8, and I would have pulled the trigger and sold my Porsche and bought that R8, but it doesn't seem like anyone in the channel really wants me to do that. <laughs> it's true, but, right? Burn. But, burn. Given but. the amount of feedback that you got, I think you guys definitely need to pick up a GTR. Dave, are we getting an R8? Not, not a chance. Why? We'll get an R8, not a GTR. I want a GTR. It's not a supercar. It's, whoa. I literally just wrote an article for our blog about this, how it's not a supercar. Did you, when did you write a blog? Uh, GDOtmodo.com, check it out, write into articles. I'm a writer now. Me write article, you read article. I think it's a supercar. Dave doesn't think it's a supercar. What do you guys think? Vote below. Do we get a GTR, do a build, and prove Dave wrong? We build the DD craziest wide body Liberty Walk silhouette supercar. We'll make it fast. Do we make Anthony drive it? You a vape pen? Oh, right. <laughs> oh. Some vape juice? A custom one, right? <laughs> oh, oil. I thought that was a Subaru thing. Do you think it's a supercar, honestly, Damon? Yes, I do. You think it's a supercar? Yes. Okay. Is it a supercar? No. <laughs> Captain Obvious is like, no. Has backseats, cup holders. Have supercar performance. Uh, it's fast, it is fast. They are fast. They are fast. You're driving and GTR passes, you go, oh, there's a GTR. If I owe for a guard or like 80 grand passes, you literally will turn on and look at it. Oh, it's special, it's exotic, it sounds good. GTRs are like everywhere. They make a Nissan uh, Micra. They make little cars and minivans. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Ferrari doesn't do that. No, they Marie do not. doesn't do that. No. All right, it's their funeral on the internet. <laughs> We're gonna get a GTR. You know what? I got one. You got one what? Give me five minutes, we're getting a GTR right here. I used to like you, Raymond. What the f 
So <laughs> GTR. I don't want to. What do you mean? Raymond, is a GTR car. a supercar? Okay, don't even get me in this car. <laughs> Obviously, anything that is JDM yes. is a supercar. Wow. I would pick it over an R8. Sorry, guys. Really? Oh, yeah. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to go get a GTR, I promised you. Are you serious? Yeah, I'll be back in five minutes. GTR, here it comes. I have no idea what he's doing, but this is for real right now. You should have a helmet on. You just jumped the tracks. What's going on? I really don't even know. You see him jump the tracks? Did you get that? Yes, I got it. <laughs> this side looks good. V-Spec 2, GTR, R34. Good choice. You're gonna trigger the internet. You said it was a supercar, and then you show up with half a car. Are you into drifting? What did you do? What happened here? Reverse entry onto the freeway. Remember, in Fast and the Furious, Paul Walker got to go into the police database and he found a broken GTR. You guys are not better than him. <laughs> Here's the car. Right? <laughs> Look at this. How do you pull this to your ass? He's got all these hypercars and supercars and I asked for the most random obscure car and he's like, here you go. Got one. Got one of those. So these are going through the roof. Pretty soon the US is whatever, 20, bazillion year. 25 year rule is coming through. So it's going to the US. How much are these? Couple hundred Canadian now? Shut so. up. Couple hundred? It's worth more than your car. This is worth more than your Lamborghini and there's only half of it. Here's what we gotta ask. If we get one of these, a GTR, what, what do you vote? Do you vote R34 or R35? Him to drive? He's already kind of salty about the R8 debacle. <laughs> yeah. He needs some sort of luxury. i go R35. <laughs> but if I want the real powerhouse, Godzilla. I keep for saying me, Godzilla. For me, Godzilla, for sure. For you, nothing. It's manual. For you, nothing. <laughs> do we get an R34 or do we get an R35 and go Liberty Walk Silhouette? I personally vote R35. What would you say? Uh, what are we talking about? I'm gonna show you. <laughs> okay, Dave? I take this one for sure. It's an appreciating asset. It's cool, but it's not good. Yeah, exactly. I vote R35 and we wide body it and make it fast and beat every supercar to prove to Dave that a GTR is a supercar. I'll make it. I'll race you. You drive every car in our fleet, 720 GTR included. Oh, your twin, you will not beat Your twin GTR. turbo Huracan. Oh, I'll destroy it. I bet you I can get a GTR to beat all those cars. I bet you a Coke Zero that my twin turbo Huracan, it's going to have 2,000 wheel horsepower and parachute, will destroy an R35 vape machine. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> wow. We do a series drag racing yeah. a built GTR and we race every car on daily driven exhaust. Sounds like an awesome idea. Lamborghini, yep. Ferrari, yep. McLaren. Yes. And we even throw a Porsche in there. A GT2 RS will get one. We'll race every car against the R35 that I'm going to build. You just have an R34 Is sitting around. Is that key around. in your prison wallet just now? What? Is that key in his prison wallet? <laughs> Not in my prison wallet. This is pretty cool. Screams! Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Nothing. The four, the Ferrari four pavement's like, what was that? <laughs> what was that noise? This is two R8s. This is three R8s, in fact. You know, <laughs> money, Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really cool car. 200 grand Canadian for one of these? Well, this is cool. So you got the RB26 engine in this car. Twin turbo. How much power does this produce? Like just as is from the factory? Anybody know? 300-ish, just low 300s. Japan had a gentleman's agreement that they would not go above like 320 or 30 horsepower. So the Supra, the R34, all that genre, yep. they literally shook hands during a meeting smoking cigarettes probably and said, we will not go above a certain horsepower. Really? really? Fun fact with Dave Coulter. This thing's rad. You want to see your That's car? Crazy. Come on, let's go. Let's go see your car. Fire it up. Okay. Get in there, stir it up. Dude, this looks so good. Right? <laughs> You miss it? Yeah, I did miss it. How's you can't feel? see my smile, but I'm smiling a lot. <laughs> we'll teach you, that's what dad's here for. So the car's nice and warmed up now. You should give it some revs, okay? Rev it up. I wanna hear it, I wanna hear it, Mia. Come on! You're not gonna break it. That's what How you many... always say. <laughs> you break it. No, it's not what I. God, the kid's giving me lip already. You have to hit it hard. Hit it and then let it off. Yeah. Woo! Do it again. Hit it again. Now give it a couple in a row. Wow. 
There, now we're talking. What do you think? Oh, you're obnoxious. <laughs> we got a new exhaust for you. We're gonna make it louder, DD levels. Sweet. We have a crazy vlog for you. We are going to show you the Huracana Perta this close to being done wrapped. So we're gonna go check on it at Wrapworks. We're gonna show Mia her brand new plate. So all that's gonna come in a two part vlog. I'm sorry. I know I'm a bit of a mean guy today. You're gonna have to smash the subscribe button. You're gonna catch up with us in the next video. We're gonna show Mia her perf plate's hilarious. Like honestly, so crazy. You're not even gonna believe this. And Dave, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Uh, no, you know so what? Sports car. <laughs> the debate starts. It 100% is a supercar. It's not like a supercar, like a supercar, but it's still. Did you just point at the 722 SLR? That, yeah, that's a, that's a supercar, but but the GTR is also a supercar in the sense that you need super money to get a good one, uh, which you guys have. <laughs> uh, wow! Wow!